Once upon a time in a peaceful village nestled among rolling hills, there lived a sad man named Raj. He always felt as though people were deceiving him or talking behind his back. He longed to understand what was truly going on inside others' minds and to live a happier, more trusting life. Little did he know that his journey towards this goal would be guided by a wise Buddhist monk. Raj's life had taken a turn for the worse after a business deal gone wrong, leaving him feeling vulnerable and suspicious of everyone around him. He had heard whispers of a renowned Buddhist monk living atop a nearby hill, known for his wisdom in understanding human nature. Determined to find answers, Raj made the arduous journey up the hill to seek the monk's guidance. The monk, a serene and kind-hearted man, welcomed Raj with open arms. Sitting down under a shady tree, they began a conversation. The monk could sense the weight of sadness in Raj's heart. In a distant village, the monk began, there lived a skilled archer who was known for his exceptional accuracy. He could shoot an arrow right into the bullseye of a target, no matter how far away it was. People marveled at his talent and thought he possessed mystical powers. The monk paused and Raj listened intently. One day, the monk continued, a young boy approached the archer and asked, how do you shoot with such precision, sir? The archer smiled and replied, I aim not at the target itself, but at the stillness within me. When I am completely still, my arrow never wavers, and it finds its mark effortlessly. Raj contemplated the story and then asked the monk, but how does this relate to reading people's minds and understanding their body language and gestures? Raj was deeply moved by this simple yet profound lesson. He realized that reading people's minds was not about psychic abilities, but about attaining emotional intelligence. He thanked the monk and promised to apply this wisdom to his life. Over time, Raj practiced the monk's teachings diligently. He learned to listen more attentively, observe body language, and sense the unspoken words in people's hearts. As he embraced inner peace, he found that the world around him became more transparent and he was better equipped to avoid deceit and betrayal. In sharing this story, the wise Buddhist monk conveyed the essential message. To read people's minds and understand their body language and gestures, one must first find stillness within. Raj returned to the village a wiser and happier man, determined to live a life free from suspicion. If you enjoyed this story and the valuable lesson it imparts, kindly share it with your family and friends. Just as Raj found solace and happiness in these teachings, may others benefit from these insights as well.